We are here, and you are about to witness like one of the most important thing in my life, in our life, me and Elsa's. We're at the uh, Philosnings Motagning, and um, we're just chilling. We just we just came up with some coffee and some tea and a little bit of milk for me. We've been here for two hours. The first hour, so between eight and nine. It was like a lot of checkup, the regular thing with like baby's heartbeat, Elsa's heartbeat, blood pressure and a lot of stuff. And the next hour was just like waiting, so we, I don't know, played some quiz, we played some games and then Elsa... Mm -hmm. Elsa had to go to toilet also a lot of time. Yeah, but uh, now she's gonna be... Igong sat igen. How do you say that? Initiation for childbirth uh, with like tablets. So every another hour she's going to take a tablet so her hormones can prepare the body. Just waiting. We changed to another room. This is bigger and also more comfortable. The official tour of this room. So they have a sink over there, a changing table, diaper table, I don't know what it's called. Bed for Elsa, a bed here if I want to. Oh, I don't have to pull that right now. And they have a, a toilet. like 10 minutes of nap I think and I just saw like that we have been here for seven hours and it's we were just waiting for the contract con contractions contractions to happen so and then after that we're gonna change to another room so first we were in one room and then we changed to this room which is like called muke room like soft room it's like between um, the labor room and uh, or delivery room or whatever it is called and the first room it's Elsa has had like three of those hormone pills that she has to have to get the contraction started and now we're gonna chill with um, Netflix Netflix Snacks and I have um, something to drink in there. Yes. We are we are using an app to see how long it takes between the contractions, and uh, it's looking good. So till next pause. Yep, the contractions are getting more and more often, and I think that there is a, there is a rule like when in ten minutes, if you have like four to five contra or three to five contractions, then and the contractions are like at least one minute or forty five second to one minute long, then then like yes, then it's going good. So soon, soon, I hope.
at the hospital for 12 hours ago. And now, after 12 hours, we're changing this room to the delivery room. So it means that delivery has started from now and forward. Elsa is having a lot of contractions and pain and I'm excited and try to help her. <laughs> oh. Everything is spinning here, guys. Oh, oh. It's a it's a laughing gas, and I just took that, and I feel the world is spinning. It's going good. It's going good. Maybe today or tomorrow. So it's between. Tomorrow is Elsa's birthday, by the way, so maybe our son and Elsa shares the birthday, birthday, or today. I don't know, maybe it's tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow. Sorry for interrupting this video. Uh, you know, like sometimes when you're like so into something, whatever it is, you kind of get lost and lose track of everything. And then the only thing that is important is that moment, that thing right there. That happened to me because the footage you saw right before this was from like 1 a.m. Uh, 1 o'clock in the morning and um, I don't have anything else. I guess that is the whole point and beauty of it that from like 1 o'clock it actually got serious. So until this point Elsa got uh, uh, epidural. It's like um, you feel numbness on your back, you, it's like anesthesia, yeah, whatever, it's epidural. So your lower back or the region of lower back and like in front, it gets numb. So you cannot feel the pain. As I also got the laughing gas, the nitro oxide, I guess it's called. Um, which she thought like, yes, worked really well. She thought like it was, it was heaven. Between the period of one o'clock and four o'clock, Elsa was in real, real deep, hard, super pain. And she was like, try to breathe through it. She tried to squeeze my hands as hard as she can. And she was like asking for forgiveness. Like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm squeezing too hard. But I was just like, go, go. And, and I remember like, it actually hurt a lot. That little lady, that little woman has a lot of power in her grip and her like heart. 
and strength because she never gave up, she pushed, she tried her best and at 4 o'clock or 4, 19 past 4, our son came to this world and I officially became a father. And I don't think that none of this would be possible without without like a lot of help from 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 the midwife from one midwife who was like other midwives were also good and supportive but there was one midwife who took care of the delivery who was like in there whole time and Elsa's energy and her energy kind of clicked very good so so Elsa trusted this woman she was like okay yes she's professional she's she's calm and she knows like what she's doing um, and I really want her in here the whole time and she was there I'm so thankful to her to Elsa to everyone that uh, that we did it. <sighs> mm -hmm.